Space, not the safest place in the universe. Staying safe there and keeping the Earth safe while we do it is a big job. How do we do it? Let's start at the beginning. Everything that goes into space starts on top of a rocket, and rocket launches are violent. To reach orbit, one of these massive vehicles loaded with fuel accelerates from zero to more than 17,000 miles per hour in a matter of minutes. That's why rocket launch and now rocket landings are regulated for safety. In the U.S., the Federal Aviation Administration's Office of Commercial Space Transportation issues permission to launch after review of detailed plans. It also investigates failures that raise safety concerns. Other spacefaring nations have their own government agencies to regulate launches from their territory. CNES, the French National Space Agency, is the only one that also regulates a foreign launch site. The European Space Agency spaceport in French Guiana. Despite all the flames and noise, explosions on the launch pad are rare. Just in case, launch pads are carefully designed to protect the launch crew on the ground. But as the rocket lifts off, the territory and people it can threaten expands. That's why rocket launches are barred from steering over areas where people live during the early part of their flights. Their paths are also coordinated with air traffic control to avoid planes in flight. Vessels at sea are warned to keep watch for boosters falling from the sky. It's also why, as a final precaution, range safety officers can remotely destroy rockets in flight before they cause harm. Falling debris remains a potential risk, but no lives on the ground have ever been lost to space debris. But as our use of space increases, so may the risks. Satellites that orbit close to the Earth eventually re-enter the atmosphere and burn up, with many thousands of them already in orbit and more thousands on the way. Scientists are getting worried about pollution from space. In January 2025, more than 100 communication satellites fell into our atmosphere and burned up. They left behind traces of metals, including aluminum, copper, lithium, and niobium. The University of Leeds estimates that one in 10 particles floating in the upper atmosphere is a metal chip from a spacecraft. We don't yet know what, if any, impact they will have, but scientists are on the lookout for everything from damage to the ozone layer to strange chemical reactions. Since the first rocket reached Earth orbit in 1957, Safety has been top of mind for the governments and companies launching them. That's why the odds of dying on Earth from something in space are less than one in 100 billion. Still, launching a rocket remains one of the hardest things we know how to do, and space will always be a dangerous place to visit. So you can bet on one thing, space safety, it's never going out of style. Space and satellite, the world's invisible, indispensable technologies. Brought to you by Space and Satellite Professionals International with the support of the American Space Exploration Fund. Additional support provided by Artel.